Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Here at Sense Request, we review toys from the perspective of my daughter Elena, who is deaf blind. Our mission is to showcase toys and gadgets that anyone can interact with and enjoy, no matter your special needs. Today we'll be reviewing the Grab and Spin Rattle by Bright Starts. This toy is recommended for ages 3 months and up. It's made out of pretty much hard plastic, but it's relatively lightweight. However, I wouldn't say that your child won't hurt at all if this drops on their face, especially because of this green sort of band that goes around this part. It is quite heavy, so just something to keep an eye on. But overall, pretty lightweight. For washing purposes, just wipe this down with a cloth, submerging it will run the risk of water getting in the middle part and it's also not dishwasher safe. This is one of Elena's favorite toys and was especially so when she was really really young, just a few months old. It got a lot a lot of use, she enjoyed using it for teething purposes and just because of all the way she could manipulate it and she basically was pretty much like emotionally attached to this toy. We brought this thing everywhere, it got chewed on, dropped countless times and it's still in pretty good condition if not perfect by our standards. None of the color came off, the spinning fit, it didn't crack or anything and again we dropped this a lot and it just pretty much remained the same. So great quality, nice and colorful if your baby has vision and can see colors that is obviously interesting. The beads are colorful, there's a lot of different colors to explore. Now it's also very easy for little hands to hold on to. We found that some of the other toys, the handle is quite thick and this was one of the ones that was much much thinner. So for Alina, it was something that she was sort of ready to grab onto much earlier than some of the other toys. So we really liked that about it. And we also really enjoyed the fact that it's got this texture on the, on the actual handle itself. So a lot of toys will have maybe a little bit like of color on it or a very very light texture but not really and they concentrate more on the rings or whatever's hanging off to have more of the texture part but this one the handle itself has quite a significant amount of texture so it's a bit of a variation in it and it's just to the touch very very interesting so if your child does have sensory loss like Alina and does enjoy very tactile oriented things then that's another bonus to this toy so maybe because it was something that she was first able to grab onto because of the handle but also one of the first toys that had uh, more interaction to it so this moving part it was one of the first toys that she was able to hold on to because it's so light. A lot of toys with sort of a moving piece that's almost like half the size of the toy tend to be a little heavier and handle, like I said, a bit thicker. And so grabbing it, okay, but being able to actually move it around on your own was a little more difficult for her. So this toy was one of the first where, yes, it has a thin, handle but it also has a pretty light composition overall so that even though there's this thing moving around it doesn't weigh the toy down. So it was one of the first toys with a movable piece that she could play with on her own and she was able to kind of move around and throw around and she was really really excited about that and even these rings have a texture to them as most of the rings on these toys do but she enjoyed these guys a lot so she would often mouth on the handle and kind of use her finger to move one of these guys around as you can tell they move fairly easily so there's enough space between the rings and the handle for them to move easily some of the other toys I find that the sort of rings are much much closer to the handle so they don't move as easily but this one does I mean, as you can tell, it just kind of falls all over the place. <laughs> so 
So the spinning rattle has the colorful beads inside which are fascinating on their own and the motion and the spinning. It will definitely develop some hand-eye coordination if your baby does have vision. However, aside from that, it does have the sound as well. So it is a rattle. So this is what it sounds like. It's pretty much the loudest rattle that we've reviewed so far. I'm not going to say that it's like super, super loud, so it's not annoying to those of us that don't benefit from the sound in, our, in the toy. So Elena cannot hear the rattling part, so we don't focus a lot on that. But I say that it is louder than some of the other things we've looked at. Now, if your child is hard of hearing, I'm not sure just rattles in general that um, would be loud enough. but again this is one of the loudest that we've talked about so definitely something to keep in mind that it's not as quiet as some of the others so it might it might be good enough one other thing i'd like to mention about the teething part is you can teethe on anything of course every child will have their favorites the rings are for teething the handles for teething i would find sometimes elena even trying to like mouth on this and teeth on this part which i'm sure is not what it was meant for but you know they always find their way to be creative with things but just something to keep in mind that there's no soft rubber or soft plastic anywhere so if your baby does prefer teething on softer surfaces uh, just something to keep in mind that there is no such thing on this toy so Elena's favorite thing to do was to manipulate this toy in any way she possibly could. Um, so she would either mouth on this and move these around, or in particular move the rattle part around. She would put this really, really close to her face, almost literally in her eyeball. And we found that there was nothing hurting her. There's no rough edges, there's no pointy bits. So even though she was curious about this part, we didn't have to stress out that, oh my goodness, she's gonna poke her eyes out. We were able to let her investigate this toy all over the place and do so safely. So I feel like there's many, many reasons why this was one of her favorite toys. Um, the lightweightness, the ability to manipulate different things, and the fact that she could do so on her own and she didn't need a lot of help to learn how to play with this and she could almost like throw it around without much muscle effort so another thing to consider if your child does have some gross motor skills uh, issues and you like to work on them this this toy is great because it's not very heavy and there's enough for them to do to get them started we don't always realize how important different textures and different bumps are. I mean, if you look at it from afar, it might look like it's the same all around, but it's really not. There's different spaces between these, and this one is more of like a square almost, and this is more rounded. So for someone that relies a lot on how they learn about their environment through a tactile perspective, this is just different, and it was something that she thoroughly enjoyed so maybe your child can as well. The Grab and Spin Rattle by Bright Starts gets an Elena score of 10 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and watch out for more content from Elena and I.